Hello, beloved brethren. I hope everybody's having a relaxing weekend. I have many videos that I'm trying to upload, that I'm going to be uploading, um, but I wanted to come on here and let you all know about a brother in Christ who did a video that is absolutely amazing. It's encouraging. Um, he talks about the rapture, and I just, I really love this brother. And one of the sweetest things is as he's doing the video, his little boy is so cute. He's talking and cooing, you know, he's just a little boy. And you can hear him in the background and it will just really just brighten your day. Um, the children are a blessing, it says in the scriptures. Praise the Lord. Um, hallelujah. <laughs> I just get so much joy listening to little babies. They're so precious. Lord, protect them with the blood of Christ Jesus covering them and the fire of God surrounding them, that wall. Lord, sur surround all the little children. You said to bring the children to you, Lord Jesus, and I just pray that all the children are brought to you, Lord, that every child would be protected under your wing as you said that they would, would be. And you said also, Lord, that um, we must come to you as a little child. So I pray that my brethren... And all um, who come to you, come humbly to the throne of glory, to your throne of grace and mercy, and receive what you have, all the blessings and promises that you have for us, and that um, they would receive life the way that I did by faith. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. All right, I just felt like I needed to thank God for the little children and protect them. <laughs> So, this brother has a wonderful video, and I don't know if any of you have heard of the warp speed. He talks a little bit about that. I haven't watched the whole video, but um, so far in, I'm just really amazed at his video. Um, I shared it on Facebook, and I'm um, wanting to share it here with you guys um, so that everyone would understand um, that, you know, the scriptures really are clear. Also, I wanted to um, verify... Um, something else uh, there are some people who come on whenever you're fellowshipping with brethren and you're feeling just the move of the Holy Spirit just that love um, for your brethren and you're talking to them and things are going great sometimes the wicked one sends wicked people in to disrupt that fellowship because you're feeling the love of the Holy Spirit because it's one one body one faith, one body of Christ, one, one, um, one faith, one spirit that we have together. And so we naturally are going to be drawn to each other. It says in the scriptures, it says, he will lead you to still waters. And that still waters is we're resting in Christ. And so the, the word is settled in us, even though when we read, um, it won't burn us like it will an unbeliever. The scriptures can really kill but for us, Jesus is with us, it says in the scriptures, and that when we read the scriptures, it won't burn us and, and torment us, okay? We can read it and go, okay, yeah, I need to, I need to fix that part of myself. Um, I, need to, I need to ask God to help me with that, you know, that part. I'm failing in that part. You know, it convicts us, but it does not condemn us. It shouldn't condemn us. Um, if it does condemn you, I would say, um, you haven't entered into the rest of Christ, okay? We have to first enter into that rest, which is the seventh day, the Sabbath. Um, Jesus is Lord over the Sabbath, which means that he's already entered into rest. And whenever we enter into him, because he's in his glorified state, um, the word is settled in heaven. He said, it is finished. That means all of the work for salvation um, by, by Jesus Christ, the blood of Christ. Now, then after that, after you're translated into the kingdom, as it clearly says in the scriptures, um, we walk in the word of God and we follow Jesus wherever he goes. And he will lead us all over the scriptures and lead us to other people who are still living waters, um, rivers of living waters coming from them, who are the still waters that he will lead us to. Um, and, and we have eternal life in Christ. And we follow the good shepherd, Jesus Christ. Um, but remember, some people are born again babies. They haven't, they, they're just drinking the milk. Uh, they haven't eaten the meat yet. They haven't got that far yet. Have a little compassion on people who don't understand everything. Um, sometimes it's 
it's hard because you see people and you know that they're not giving their whole heart to God, um, but maybe they're not there yet. Maybe they're not ready for that. And everybody in their own time, God says that he will draw all men, because he was lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. So have faith that God will do exactly what he said he would do. And so this brother in Christ talks a little bit about the truth of the scriptures and he's just talking because the Holy Spirit's guiding him and he's talking about how the sun and the moon has its own light and that is clearly written in the scriptures and different things you can see that he's read in the scriptures and he has verified by the Spirit that these things are true and in just seeing and looking at our world you can see that the earth is has four um, it, it has, it, it says it's like a footstool to God in the scriptures. And he talks about how the, the lights in the sky, it says in Genesis, that the lights are for signs and for seasons and that God put them in their, in, in their place for those things. We've talk, talked on this channel about the epistle of Jude and how the wandering stars are, are stars are called planets in, in our earth. Uh, people have renamed them to planets. Um, but if you look up planet, it means wandering star. And in the epistle of Jude, you see those are the wandering stars which left their first estate. Now, we don't bring a railing accusation to God about anyone. Uh, we are saints who bring the truth we can bind in earth. Whatever we bind in earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose in earth will be loose in heaven. But we don't bind mankind. We bind spiritual things. We bind serpents scorpions unclean spirits like frogs those those are the things that god in luke i think nine or ten has given us authority over all those things um, as a saint as a believer on jesus christ um, but my brother in christ has a wonderful video and i just highly recommend him um, and i'll put it in the description box uh, this video it will just bless your day that's all i'm going to say and really important um, information so this morning I was reading uh, this scripture, 1 Peter. I just wanted to read it to you guys. Um, remember, everything that's on this channel is by the Spirit. Uh, we live by the Spirit and not by our flesh because the Spirit gives life and um, is life. And when we're translated into the kingdom, we are now part of that good tree. And that good tree can produce fruit. That fruit can only be produced by the word of God that's his word we give him all the praise honor and glory faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God we can't convince anybody from our flesh we have to they have to understand by the spirit this has to be not just the scriptures because the scriptures like I said can kill the scriptures can be um, uh, not produce the fruit um, what produces the fruit is whenever it's given by the by the spirit and so we can read the scriptures and the scriptures will not return void we've got to understand that anytime the word of God is being spoken or read it's not going to return void he is life that's how he created everything in Genesis he created everything by the word of God and that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so our Abba Father loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son because in the beginning um, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So you've got the Father and the Son, praise the Lord. And then the Holy Spirit is with us. Praise the Lord for the Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit. Um, and so we see in the scriptures that um, we are sanctified by God. So let's read this. It's so exciting. And translated into the kingdom. I've talked about this many times. I've probably read this before, but I just want to read it again because I read it this morning, and I just love the scripture. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. There goes my doves. <laughs> Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit. There is the sanctification of the Spirit. Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Praise the Lord for peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope 
by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So it's because of his resurrection that we have this newness of life. Praise the Lord. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. So right there you can see that nothing is going to steal this away from you. It's reserved in heaven for you. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So this should comfort you and understand that we, it's reserved in heaven for us. So if you mess up here, uh, just repent. You have an advocate with the Father, the Lord Jesus. He's the mediator of the better covenant. And he's the incorruptible seed. The word of God is that incorruptible seed that remains in you once you believe, if you truly believed. If it was not in vain, some people did not really believe. They just, it wasn't really from the from the heart. They didn't really believe God raised Jesus from the dead or that he came flesh and blood man. Um, so that word of God is what lives lives and abides forever. Um, and so that's why that's the seed that, offers up good fruit to God through um, seeding the word into another person and then they believe and then they get eternal life from God. So that's the word of God that produces life. And Jesus was the word become flesh and dwelt among us. Praise his name. If you believe in that, that gospel that Christ died for your sins, his blood was for the remission of your sins, that he was buried as the scriptures say, and that on the third day he rose from the grave, you will be saved. All who believe on Jesus Christ, the scriptures say, shall be saved and has everlasting life. So, um, with that, I'm going to put the, the brother or brother's video in the description box. Please go watch it and share it on Facebook, on social media, everywhere, so that other people can understand that there's a lot of deception in the world and that we should have hope in Jesus Christ and um, know that rapture is for us and that nobody knows the day or the hour but we do know that we're in the season we can definitely say we're in the season um, because we're in the light we won't be in darkness because we're in the light of Christ and so because we're in that light that's why all the saints know right now and are walking in the spirit right now because Jesus has shown us before the time comes and it says at the end of this so we can finish reading this to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away because he is holy right reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time wherein you greatly rejoice I hope you're rejoicing though now for a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. So your faith is more precious than gold. That's pretty awesome. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory praise the Lord. We do believe without seeing. And he says, blessed are those who have not seen yet believe. Brethren, we have such a hope in Jesus Christ, such a hope in the um, sanctification of the Spirit. And this, what is being shown on here is just the Word of God, um, the talents that He's given me, and I share with the rest of the brethren. And the Word, the seed, the incorruptible seed, as His Spirit gives it to me, I share with you. And um, understand that when you're reading this, the exiles, see, we don't know who real, who real Israel is other than um, some information that some people have done uh, or information about that has been done in the world. Um, but then the blood has been mixed. There's been uh, mixing of the different um, cultures. I don't like to say race because I'm not a believer in race. I believe God made us all of one blood, as it says in the scriptures. And there are some wicked ones who have been mating or laying with the fallen angels and uh, the sons of God that um, have worshipped the celestial. We're not to worship the celestial, it says in the scriptures. The, the Israelites were in trouble for that. But we do know that Israel is spread over the whole earth. 
And so when he's talking about the dispersed, I believe that Israel is in every nation, tribe, and tongue. And that is tribes. Okay, God talks about tribes over all the earth. And so in the scriptures you see that. Um, there are the Babylonians, the Romans, and different... Uh, the Edomites who God is upset with, obviously, for good reason. Um, but in the scriptures, when during Acts and throughout the scriptures, you see a multitude of every nation, tribe, and tongue, even in the book of Revelation. So that means that even... Um, the ones that we see as wicked, some of them believed during the time of Jesus and during the time of the apostles um, getting the Pentecost uh, Holy Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost fire, the comforter, um, there was people from other nations and there were even people in there that were of the, the nations that God did not or was not pleased with. Um, so let's just remember that the Roman centurion was even saved. Saul, who was a murderer, was saved. He's now Paul. He's no longer a murderer. Um, and so let's have mercy and grace on other people because freely we've been given this grace. It's not easy, though. I understand. There's been some pretty wicked. But remember, God will recompense all evil back to their bosom, it says in the scriptures. So we shouldn't be um, uh, thinking that, you know, God's not going to do something about the wicked. And the the um, Psalms clearly show that he will. So a God be love to you and watch our brother's video. Sorry about my fan behind me. But anyways, a God be love.